everyone in previous video we saw how to set up a new project environment now today in this video we're gonna learn how to set up this scrappy environment so it's not to be uh, as simple as importing the importing the pandas right so it's uh, it will it requires certain steps which needs to be undertaken like you can see over here i have already done a, an environment setup so what i'm gonna do is i gonna start a new project all together so you can go in file menu you, from here also you can start a new project and right over here you can say new project and you get this kind of message which you could be very much familiar with and i will just give it a name let's say let's call it my scrapping right my scrapping all right and over here the environment is same so i'm not going to explain all this again just say click and here it is asking how do you want to open that project so i want to have it in a new window right so here i it will open a new window for me it's gonna take some few seconds or maybe minutes and it will complete opening a new project for me so here i got a brand new project opened all over here all right so what you see is project name and the virtual environment and all this stuff now after this time comes to install the scrappy so for that you need to go in file menu and just go in file menu click on settings oops please bear with me this is not what i wanted to tell you so file menu and then click on settings in the settings you need to figure out where is your project so here is my project which says project my scrapping right so just expand this and into this you see python interpreter and when you click this this kind of interface you will get it is just loading right just let's let just give it a couple of seconds and after it is done so you see this plus icon just click that okay and when you click that you will get this box inside that you're gonna find scrappy all right and when you get that select it and click install package so when you do so the installation is started i'm not sure if you can see a small icon running over here but don't worry right so it will take some time to install till then i will pause the video and i'll resume once it is done all right so it looks like the scrappy is installed once it is installed this kind of you know information you're gonna get now if you want to install any other package let's say i want to install pandas also right so i will just say pandas here i'm getting it in my recent list so i'll just select that and click install package so again it will take few moment right so till the time i'll again pause the video all right now it looks like pandas is also installed so once this is completed if there is any other package which you would like to install you can just do the same thing to install that and then just close this and over here you would see all these informations where you can find scrappy is installed same way you can find pandas also right so i'll just say okay right so once that's done then here you can see this is launching or, or you know it is processing something something right so let it do uh, till then right so as of now what you see over here is in my scrapping what you have is this module which is virtual environment then in the library you have all these things right and after this in the scripts you have all these pre-built scripts okay next thing what we need to do next thing which we need to do is you see over here terminal if you can't see just press alt f11 oh, sorry f12 and just click terminal i'm just going to click terminal right so i click the terminal and it is open so it's it's taking just few seconds to get initiated all right so we just installed the scrappy now next thing which we need to do is start the project scrappy project okay how we can do that so for that you can say scrappy and then just say scrappy start project project and give your project name this my scrapping okay my scrapping all right so here it will initiate your project okay so the command is scrappy which is your library then give the command what is it exactly that you want to do so i want to start my project all right and then give the project name just let's just hit enter and let's see if this gives certain error or not if this gives the error then also fine otherwise it is also fine right so bravo we didn't get any error here it says you can start your first spider with cd my scrapping scrappy etc 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 okay so we are done with installing this scrappy all right so now let's just come over here and 
you see this is the new module which we just got right my scrapping inside our project we got a new folder created which is called my scrapping and inside that if you go again you will get another folder and inside that you will get all this set of scripts so this is something pycharm does for you if you are working in another id or something some other environment you will have to set up all these things but here it does uh, pycharm does all these things for you right so this is pretty cool so uh, what you can do is you can just go through this and you can see what all are the things which are created these are the prerequisites right for us to start with scrapping using scrappy all right so as of now i will not be explaining all these things what i'll do is i'll directly take you to a new script so what i would do is just right click on this not over here uh just on spider do you see this spider this is the spider which uh, which comes with scrappy all right so just click on right click on that spider and go to new and from this list what you need to do is just choose python file okay and over here you need to provide a name to your script so i'm just going to say my script my script all right so here is what i would say so let's say my script okay now you see this is created over here next thing which we're gonna do is import scrappy this is important select this and just come over here and say run so when you say the so so here it is asking how do you want to run it right so just select my script okay so when you do so it will be executed and here you will see the response process finished with exit code zero that means there is no error okay now after this what you need to do is there are a couple of things which we require to do first create the class sorry inherit the class So if you don't understand what class is what inheritance is so this is nothing but just you can understand that class is kind of module which is pre-created inside um, the the class which we are going to use over here that's that's a class which is already created over here we will just inherit some of the feature from there if you want to understand more about class and inheritance link i'll be giving in the description section you can just check that out okay so here let's just start with creating a class so i will say my class equals to i can say my scrapper okay let's just say my scrapper and over here you need to do what you need to do is you say scrappy dot spider so this is the this is the feature which we want to inherit from the uh, you know pre-created uh, skeleton okay now after that out of that once you do this after that you need to create two variables one is name which is nothing but you are you will be giving a name to your scrapper this is the scrapper which you are creating right so let's just give it a name my crawler let's call it my crawler then you need to create a variable where you will be storing the url for example here this is the this is the web page which i am going to scrap over here right so i will just take this url and just come back over here and over here i will just say start urls all right and just right over here you need to put the list of the urls so here in my case i have just one url so i'm just keeping going to be with that only right next thing which we require to do is um, over here you just define the module right so here you can say parse right so keep in mind there are certain names which you need to use as it is for example this thing which which i'm going to write this must be as it is like you can see we are getting the suggestion right so just select this so when you select that you will get all these three parameters inside it so i can remove the last one we would require to use these two things so what will happen is so what what all are the names that you mandatorily require to use so this class name you can use whatever you want inside that this should be fixed after this this variable which i am saying name that should be same this value could be anything again start urls should be same url which you are putting as value can be anything now coming back to this point over here def and uh, this parse should be same like i just said and this whole line should be same okay it shouldn't it cannot be different one all right then then after this what i want is i want to scrap the 
author its name all right so here i have my web page and here if you see here i have the author name so i want to get the list of all the authors which are available on this page okay so how can i do that so for that what we need to do is just right click on this click on inspect and when you do so so just take this arrow which i have been explaining in all my videos and just click on this okay over here what you see is small this is the html tag which has two attributes attributes class and item prop okay but both of these two attributes have same value so hardly matters what we are concerned about is the value of an attribute okay so we would require two things this tag and the value of any of the attribute okay basis on that we can fetch this text this is the value which we require to fetch let's just go back over here and let's just say uh, authors authors all right and over here what we're gonna say is response.css css is the selector which i'm going to use over here here i'm going to i mean there will be two selectors we will be using one is css then the other one is xpath i'm starting with css next in the next one we will see the other one okay so response.css and after this what we require to do is just you know uh, just put the quotation and inside that put the tag the tag which we have is small small all right and then put a dot now small is the tag this complete tag which we want to take out of that what is it that we want to select we want to select author right we want to select any of the attribute okay or maybe you can say so attribute to select any attribute we require the value which is available into that attribute so we take this okay now once you do this it will give you this entire web element okay out of that we require text only right so for that you're gonna put double colon and you're gonna say i require text out of this string right so the text which we require is albert einstein which is written over here right so we just need to say over here text okay and then over here you say extract all right this is the function which we're gonna call it now after that as we have a uh, return we have uh, learned uh, the return statement similarly here we would be having yield right and in the yield we are gonna create a dictionary so let's call it list authors this is the key value which i am giving to my dictionary creating my dictionary and then here i want to yield all this extraction whatever i have extracted over here once this is done i'm just going to you know save this this is saved let's go back to the terminal and in the terminal what we need to do is we need to go inside this folder so you know that for that what we need to do is we need to use cd command cd let's say cd my scrapping and just hit enter we are inside that so we are inside this then again we need to go inside this and then there's two more okay cd my scrapping or we can just repeat the same right using up arrow you can repeat the command okay then after that we need to say cd spiders all right so we are under spider next thing which we need to do is we need to run this particular scroller right so let's say uh, we're gonna say either here scrappy the scrappy all right just just give one second let me just see yeah it's scrappy only scrappy and then uh, here you're gonna say crawl crawl and what is it that you want to crawl your crawler name which you have given over here my crawler okay and let's just put it over here okay and let's just see what happens if we get any error oh it looks like working all right bravo so what happens is when whatever url you have given over here that uh, i mean when it is executed so when you right click on this and go in view page source these all informations are stored into this response variable right and out of that we are fetching whatever we require we require author so that's what we are getting over here now once this is done this is executed let's just see the result if we have got the list of authors just scroll it up little bit 
and just right over here you see we have the list of authors albert einstein jk rowling etc etc now there is one more thing if it looks very hazy what you can do is you can store your output in a csv file so let's say this is the command which we executed right just give space and dash o so dash o here i have given minus or you can say dash and o o for output okay and give the name name for your output let's say my output dot csv okay and just hit run the hit enter right this will be executed all right so this is executing a yeah it's done now let's just come back over here and in this it will come just give it a second here we got that now just double click it and here you go here you got that list all right so i just hope that it was clear to you just in case of any doubt put that into the comment section i will definitely try to help you out and in the next video we're gonna uh, scrap rest of the items from this until then happy learning wish you very all the best